James Cyphers is an unlikely beekeeper. It's amazing how they build that up that perfect net quick. After leaving the military, he worked in construction, then as a coal miner for 16 years. But when the mines shut down and jobs went away, he traded in his hard hat for a beekeeping veil. A lot of times underground, you're working in water and, and, and dark conditions, and at times it's miserable. This is not miserable. This is a, a really enjoyable job. I'm paying off uh, a lot of my bills that we've had in the past that's built up over the years and, and, and able to do things for my grandbabies and, and my family. See, here, here's the queen. See how much bigger she is? Cyphers found his job through the Appalachian Beekeeping Collective, a nonprofit that teaches displaced workers and other low-income residents looking to earn extra income how to become beekeepers. Shake it a little bit. Just shake it a little bit. Really hard, but go ahead and shake it. After completing a free five-week program, aspiring beekeepers are given bees, hives, and all the necessary supplies they need to get started. Expert beekeeper Mark Lilly is an educator with the collective. In my previous job, I traveled a lot of these areas. So, so for the past 30 years, I've watched them slowly die. So you see the people now have like uh, hopelessness. So if we can teach a family to maybe generate three to $5,000 of additional income, if you're only making $30,000, that's a huge, uh, huge improvement in your lifestyle. She's trying to get away from you. Veteran Mike Davis has discovered the many other benefits of beekeeping. It gives you something to look forward to on a daily basis. Uh, you're anticipating the growth of your hive. But I um, equate it even with uh, my spiritual side. The bees are just uh, not only calming, it's just like similar to dogs that other people have. I have that same affection for my bees. And he says this is the ideal place for them. This area of southern West Virginia is the largest uh, forage in the world. We don't have pesticides, insecticides, because we don't have commercial farming. So we have the trees. We have a lot of water. Uh, the conditions are great for the bees. And that translates into great tasting honey, which is the end product of the nectar that the bees forage from some of the most diverse species of plants and flowers unique to the state. Terry Giles is with Appalachian Headwaters, which oversees the beekeeping collective. I look here and I see what used to be a thriving railroad community has turned into a community with not a lot of options. This beekeeping collective that we are sponsoring is giving people options, but better yet, it's giving people hope for the future. So what we're looking for here is a nice pattern. With an eye to that future, the Appalachian Beekeeping Collective plans to expand its program to reach the next generation of beekeepers so they can help West Virginia thrive once again, this time with a more environmentally sustainable commodity. She's beautiful. She is beautiful. Julie Tabo, VOA News, Hinton, West Virginia.